Uh, this is a Sunday in New York City, and as all of you know, for the last month and a half, life is what it used to be. I think we've seen all the biggest disruptions in history, at least in our lifetimes. And you know, it's humbling. Uh, and, you know, yet still, we are here, we are here. So, what has changed? Pretty much everything, right? The way we work, the way we interact with clients, friends, family, travel, pretty much everything has changed. First and foremost, I think we went through a pretty big change. And I'm really proud of the way the team came together and the way we've enabled many things. Firstly, employee safety. I think the, the way all our teams came together to make sure that none of our employees have to deal with hardship and put themselves at risk. Secondly, I think we've managed really well with our clients. A lot of our clients have appreciated it, continue to appreciate it, and I'm really proud of the way we did that. Thirdly, I think we've also taken the opportunity of this disruption to strengthen our position. How are we doing it? Well, we're doing it by playing offense, and that's exactly what we should be doing. And I'll come back to that in a, in a little bit later. So, how has life changed for all of you? Let me just tell you about how it's changed for me. Firstly, as I said, right, I really, really miss going to work, seeing my colleagues, seeing clients, spending time with them, travel. My life has changed from being three continents in a month, you know, a trip or two every week, being in the office every day, back calendar, back schedule. To really working from home and it's hard it's hard because i miss that human connect i miss the human connect with friends and of course with colleagues and clients but hey this is the new abnormal as Dinesh calls it so what do we do to make the most of it well we, we start enjoying things that we didn't have time for right how do i enjoy myself well, mostly i think i really enjoyed the, the aspects that we now have more time we have more time to connect with more people. We have more time to connect with more clients. In fact, they have more time, so that's making it really, really well. I also started to do things like taking walks in the city. Yes, we can still walk in New York City the lockdown, as long as I go out for walks alone and I try and maintain social distancing. And I joke to people that I maintain total distancing. Right. So I really enjoy walking the city. I'm doing a photo blog of the city, and at some point, you know, when all of this is over, I'll probably publish the photo blog. It's amazing to see a city that never slept has changed so much, and uh, you know it's it's but it's still beautiful as you can see the spring is out, you know, flowers are blooming. Uh, it's, a, it's a beautiful day in New York City. It's sad that you know that, that we're still going through this massive disruption, but but I really enjoy that. I also started doing things that I never thought I would do. For example, I tried my hand at cooking. It's still some work to do, but I think at least I'm trying something new. Uh, I'm also you know starting to to, to really uh, you know. Think of what else can I do to, to expand my repertoire. Uh, I have been reading, not as much as I thought I will, uh, but most importantly, I think uh, I'm proud that I put together my home office furniture with my bare hands. I never thought I would be able to do it. I thought I would need a carpenter to come in, but I, I did it. So, how do we how do we go from here? Right? It's natural. It's easy to fall prey to all the negativity and pessimism around you. Uh, this is just see an ocean of, of bad news and pessimistic news. So, how do we kind of maintain our outlook? Firstly, I think this is the biggest human experiment that all of us are going to witness in our lives. Right? A lot has changed, a lot will continue to change, and when we come out of this, a lot would have already changed as well. So how do we make sure that we keep that perspective? Firstly, let me tell you, this is a, a great time to watch and learn. Right? You can watch the best in people, the worst in people, and of course, you discover things that you never thought were possible. Just watching political leadership, country leadership, local leadership, company leadership, all of you who stepped up, it's just an amazing experience. So my advice, record all of these learnings. Note them down, because these are learnings that we will not go through for a very long time in such a short time. Also, let's understand, this is also a phase where the strong will get stronger, companies, and the weak will get weaker. And I think I'm really, really excited that a lot of our clients are recognized all the hard work that we've done our point of view, our, our depth and expertise in technology and domain, and are starting to talk about accelerating a lot of the transformation journey with us. If you look around, I don't think that's true for almost every peer of, other peer of office. So I'm really singularly focused on working with the fantastic leadership team that we have at the extra level, and of course the next few levels, and making sure that we are able to use this opportunity to really break through and come out of this really, really stronger, bigger, and better. My only advice in this pessimism of bad news, in this ocean
ocean of depressing news. Try to keep your perspective. Fear is easy. What can I ask you to do? Focus on two more emotions. Compassion and faith. Have compassion for people who are going through this, who are suffering because of the illness, economic hardship, lives have been disrupted. Have faith in humanity. Have faith in yourself. Have faith in your needs, your people, your leadership, your family. And by the way, trust me, this is going to be an amazing experience for all of us as we come out of this, as we learn and become better human beings. And of course, I look forward to seeing all of you at the nearest possible opportunity. Until then, stay safe, stay healthy, stay happy. Good luck.